Hey you guys, welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. I did a Walmart pickup and then I went to HEB. I did get two packs of 40 count waters from war, uh, from Walmart. You won't see that in the haul of course, but I did just want to tell you guys that I did get that. One is for Brennan to take to work and then the other one is for the house. So let me show you guys what I got. I spent about $109 and I think 41 cents. Um, and it's not a lot of stuff, y'all. Groceries are just ridiculous right now. But let me show you guys what I got. Here is everything that I got. Walmart is the stuff that I bought over there or did for my Walmart pickup. And then this was everything that I did at HEB. So let me show you guys what I got at HEB. I did two big things of tortilla-sized tortillas <laughs> a restaurant restaurant style tortillas because i'm probably today is saturday so i'm probably going to do some nachos for dinner today so that we don't have to buy anything for dinner and then also you'll see that i bought some more nacho cheese to maybe do for lunches and also to eat with tuna as well i know i think i said previously that i was probably going to lay back on the chips a little bit and then this was also buy to get a dollar off I got some fruits. They had some cut up watermelon. So I picked up some of those because I love to just snack on watermelon. I love fruits in general. And then they didn't just have a small tub of strawberries. So I just did another strawberries and pineapples, which is perfect for fruits this week and for lunches. Brandon, he got a little treat today. I spent $11 on these mangoes, <laughs> um, but he got those. I picked up some plantains. He's going to be making breakfast tomorrow, so we needed some of that. I got some Kelly's Local Texas Honey. This is different from what I normally buy, but it's still all natural. It's just honey in there. So I wanted something smaller, like this size, versus the one that I normally get. They only had it in the bigger size, so... Um, I got some more flying Korean barbecue sauce. This is actually super delicious, you guys. And I am potentially going to be making wings for dinner this week. So I made sure I picked up some more of that because I wanted to do half of the wings with that sauce. <coughs> Sorry. I picked up some more milk. I got some pico de gallo. I got some Kerrygold butter. Back here, I got some veggie cauliflower tots that I'll put in the air fryer. They are so much better in the air fryer than in the oven. I got some shredded lettuce for some chipotle. I got some cattleman, cattleman's cut beef jerky for Brennan. Uh, this is in the peppered. And then I also got some uncured applewood bacon. I could not remember if we had bacon at home. I don't eat bacon, but Brennan does. And when he makes breakfast tomorrow, he'll be deeply sad if there wasn't any bacon. So um, I just made sure I picked up some. These were the wings that I picked up at HEB. These don't have like the wings at the end, so I actually prefer this. So this should be good for us to make. I may end up cooking this tonight instead. I just really don't know what I want to do. So I'll kind of figure that out at some point. I picked up some large eggs because they did not have any more extra large. And then I ran out of sparkling water. So I picked up an Azarka in the lemon lime and then orange and grapefruit in the AHA flavor. And or AHA brand. And then from H-E, not H-E-B, you guys, from Walmart, outside of the two waters, I got these nacho dipping sauce. So like I said, these will be perfect um, to give Brennan and I a lunch one day instead of having to put stuff together to just nachos and cheese. I also got some more cheese, Tostitos cheese, and this is for whenever we do nachos. And then I picked up some more of these Nutrition Heart Healthy Nut Mix. It is absolutely delicious and really a great snack to have so i bought a another one the other one is pretty much finished if i'm not mistaken we both love it so this will probably be a new staple in the house i actually used to buy the little packets and i think the little packets were just like not enough to kind of enjoy and so i didn't really like them but having them this way i know it sounds weird actually tastes a lot better and then i got these atkins indulge chocolate peanut candy so it's like having m m's there's only one net gram of carbon in here and that's because it has like 16 grams of sugar alcohol in there so i just wanted to try it as a treat because clearly there's nothing else outside of fruits that we have to really like snack on quote unquote which is a good thing i did get some 
chocolate covered almonds but they didn't have any so that was um taken out of the order but this was everything that i got you guys so i'll show you what i decide to do with lunches and dinners next all right you guys so i am using my ninja two basket air fryer i'm going to be making some wings again also with some veggie tots cauliflower um i just have the spray avocado oil so that i can spray the pans a little bit get some back there and so i'm actually going to oops put these tots in here sorry y'all this is not what i normally do and then i am going to be putting these wings in here and i actually should just take it out and put it in here so today's Sunday, I was originally going to be making some chicken, but Brennan said that he really wanted the wings for dinner tonight, which is perfectly fine. I figured that's what he was going to want because I got that Korean barbecue sauce and that thing, y'all, is his favorite. So I am just putting these in here. I went and got this meat from HEB. I will link my grocery haul um, in this video. <laughs> um, or just kidding, this is part of that video. <laughs> oh, Janelle. Okay, but anyways, <laughs> y'all will see that I got these wings at uh, HEB. So they're all seasoned up and I'm going to put them into the air fryer. One of the things that I love about this air fryer, you guys, is that it allows me to match cook. So what I mean by that is here, I am going to turn it on. For basket one, we are doing the air fryer. I'm going to keep it at 390 in terms of temperature, and then I am going to put it on 23 minutes. Huh? I'm going to say 25 because we have to use both of them. And then I am going to do basket number two. And we're also going to do air fryer, so it's, we're going to keep that at 390. But in terms of time, I'm going to do 15. So we're going to do smart finish and we're going to do match cook. Just kidding. Uh, why won't it let me do match cook? Turn that off. Um, we're going to do a match cook, but I don't think that it pressed it. So um, let me see. Nope, we are going to pause this. It should let me match cook this thing. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I figured out why. Match cook is when I want them to cook at the same thing at the same time. I want smart finish. So we're going to turn off that and we're going to do smart finish. So we're going to do basket one air fryer. I am going to do 25 minutes. And then we're going to do basket two. We're going to do air fryer, but we're going to do 15 minutes. I think that should be good. So we're going to press start. So see this one, which is the basket for the cauliflower rice, are, I mean cauliflower tots are on hold. Once this gets to 15 minutes, then this will start cooking so that they can finish at the same time. I will definitely still check it to make sure it's what I want. But this is what we're having for dinner, you guys. And I'll show you what we have for our other dinners and lunches next. Sorry for the choppiness, you guys, but here is the final product. This is Brennan's with the Flying Korean Barbecue Sauce. This is just the HEB version. It's actually really delicious, you guys. So we're just, he's having that. And then I am just doing um, the medium buffalo hot sauce. This is the wing, not wing stop, buffalo wings version and this is also really good too so we're just having that that is what i am having for dinner tonight and then i'll show you guys what i fully pack for lunch next all right here is lunch for monday brennan is also he's not taking a lunch i'm just having three pieces of the wings but i'm not putting any hot sauce on there and i just have some cauliflower tots i have um one of these leftover movie theater popcorns i have a aha sparkling water the orange and grapefruit flavor and then i have an unsweetened applesauce and that is what i'll be having for lunch and i'll show you guys what we take for lunch for tuesday next 
here is a Monday night to dinner. I just took a small avocado and cut it in half. And so we just each have a half an avocado. This is chicken thighs that I did in the air fryer because I love my air fryer, y'all. And then I just did some cauliflower rice and some black beans in a pot on the stove. And this is just what we're having. I'll show you what we cook for Tuesday next. Here's lunch for Tuesday. So this is gonna be my lunch. I am having um, a piece of the chicken and then the last of the cauliflower rice. It's actually not that much. It's just, just the way that the dish is kind of set up, but it is a little bit heavier. I have some watermelon. Brennan does not really care for watermelon that much, so that's why he's not having any fruit. Um, and then I have a yogurt with some flax seeds and then some mixed nuts for a snack. Also, I am having an oops, aha sparkling water and the orange and grapefruit flavor. Bren is also having a chicken, but he wants cheese. So I gave him two Baby Bell cheese. He's also having this fiber chocolate fudge brownie. I am also giving him some peppered beef jerky. And then I'm also giving him an AHA sparkling water in the grapefruit flavor. And that is lunch, you guys. And I'll show you what we take for Wednesday next. Here is lunch for what's today? Wednesday. Tuesday, I didn't cook anything or we didn't cook anything. Brandon actually just made some tuna and we had tuna and tortilla chips, but I did salmon today. This is the salmon without um, the skin, so it's a little bit different. And then I sort of did this little salad. It's not the exact salad, but Brandon's mom made something very similar to this, but a lot better than this. Um, so this is just cut up avocado, tomatoes, and then some like dried cranberry and some other Thing in here so that is what both of us will be eating and then I actually just have like a little bit of this Olive Garden Italian dressing that I am going to sprinkle onto mine so that is dinner for Wednesday here is lunch for Thursday we didn't pack anything for Tuesday because we made tuna for dinner and then there was nothing left of the tuna. So we just kind of ate out today. I am just going to be taking an Oikos mixed berry yogurt with some chia seed and flax seed. And I have an Azarka lemon lime water. Uh, oops, I am going to go to HEB in the morning and pick up a soup. And that is what I'm gonna have for lunch to avoid having to spend money to actually buy like a heavy lunch. And then for Brandon, he's having some tortilla chips. I am giving him one of these nacho cheese um, sauces to have. And um, I meant to give this to him yesterday or for Tuesday's lunch too. And I totally forgot because I got lazy. So I know that he'll like this because there's only one left of these. I'm also giving him a chicken creations buffalo style um, like tuna thingamabob if he wants to eat that by itself or with the tortillas i don't know y'all i feel like so off right now <laughs> um right there and then he has um um some of the nut mix and then i'm giving him an energy drink since he's going to be working later than normal so that we can meet up to have dinner with um, our co-workers and so this is going to be the energy drink in the wild strawberry i'm not sure why it won't focus but that is what he's going to be having so this should um keep him this is lunch for Thursday, and I'll show you. We're probably not taking anything for Friday, as a matter of fact, because it is full Friday for Brandon, and I'll probably just grab something to eat on Friday since we are eating out. So this is actually going to conclude our lunches for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.